mango yellow was um, we're looking for a color which will strike you. We need to get the brand immersed fully in the top of mind of the population, the populace, the banking community, the clientele community. Um, all the other banks are choosing the other colors. Um, there was yellow, I think, but we still chose yellow and we chose what we call mango yellow. So it's, it's very bright, you know, and then we decided that the orange, um, orange denotes friendliness, okay, almost um, childish play. And the whole thing is also that we wanted customers to understand that we're friendly in our approach to dealing with them. They would say that for presence, we'll go up, which is why this building is almost 53 or 54 meters high. Um, we could have gone something like 80 meters, but we didn't want aviation issues. So we put the car park, which is six stories to the left, and the main tower, which is 12 stories to the right. Otherwise, we would have had an 18-story um, building instead of a 12-story building. Now, the, where we've positioned the colors and where we've positioned this building basically boosts the brand. And since this building came up, we've had so many questions, you know, which building is that, which bank is that, etc. And it's definitely changed, um, improved the fortunes of the bank. It also gives the true reflection of the strength of the bank. So, and it came at a time when there was all this... Um, uncertainty in the banking sector regarding the um, the capitalization. So first and foremost, we cap we move into this building. Um, in, I don't know October or so, and in November we capitalize, and we're the only indigenous bank who did not bring money from anywhere else. We just simply went into our balance sheet and we moved from income surplus to state capital, which means that we had the extra 300 million available that we could reinvest in the bank. So going forward, I see this building building up the fortunes of the bank and we're going to, we're going to leverage this to push our agent banking. As, as we've said in the past, you know, we're moving from bricks to clicks. So this is bricks, but this is the last set of bricks. In all the other places, we are going to have agents and the plan is to have about 2,000 agents around the country and these agents would be able to perform in, at, in, at every point what the basic, um, the basic requirements that, um, or products that a branch can deliver. But it allows us to now spread ourselves across the entire country as opposed to being in just selected uh, regions.